So welcome to Critics Week and we are very proud for you to be there because it's very important for us and I think it hope it will be important for you because you are members of the jury revelation, what we call young critics you are, but you're also real critics. And uh, it's important because as you know, Critics Week is Semaine de la Critique. So the person who are in charge of select the film, the fixation committee, are film critics. And also the, the institution who is in charge of Semaine de la Critique is what we call Syndicat Français de la Critique. What I expect from Cannes, it may sound obvious, but to see great films and to, great, to see great cinema, I want to meet face to face some directors that I admire and to enjoy the whole experience. It's our more than 300 of members who are film critics. But it's important for us to connect each other, you from Argentina, from Mexico, from France, from Romania, young new generation of young critics. You know we have we have not so many films, one week seven film in competition, so we have to see them all. So this is very important for us that also in Romania, in Mexico, in Argentina, just to talk about Cannes, about what is film critique, what, what does film critics Critics Week do for critics and young critics. I'm just curious about everything that's uh, happening, especially in Last Man, and especially I am curious about the films and about the discussions with my beautiful colleagues from the jury and also with Rebecca Slotowski. And I'm, I, I just want to see what it's all about as, as much as I can. You will meet uh, tomorrow Rebecca Slotowski, yes. ah, the president yes. of the jury. We presented the first, uh, the, the debut film by Rebecca. Just Belle Epine, uh, Deep Prudence. And then she came back to Cannes uh, last year with a second feature film. And uh, we always, for this jury, always uh, chose a, a director who is quite young, yes. who directed two or two, three two films. Two or three films, yeah. I think it's also very important for her to come back and, and, and to support other uh, young filmmakers. And for us, it's, uh, it's another. It's another step now because we've been working on the selection uh, and watching a lot of films and now we have this seven film in competition and we leave it to you, to the audience, to the, to the, to the press, to the buyers, the distributors. So it's very exciting for us to, to know how the films will be received. Je suis jury pour la première fois. Et je pense que je vais avoir une, une façon de voir les films très différente de celle que j'ai habituellement. On est, on est encadré par une cinéaste aussi, donc ça va être intéressant de voir, euh, de voir elle, ses, ses points de vue, euh, enfin, le, le point de vue qu'elle peut avoir sur les films qu'on va être amené à tous voir pendant cette semaine. Just wanted to, to, to add that all the prices are very important uh, for the filmmakers. It's important for themselves. It's important also. It's a great help for them then to to get visibility and to have possibility for their films to be released uh, theoretically uh, in different countries. So more than just an, an, an artistic choice, it's also a very important uh, prize for the film and for the, for the director. I expect something huge. Uh, I expect to uh, get in touch with uh, interesting people from all around the world, talk about films, see films and try to absorb as much as I can from this enormous film experience which I've always expected to meet. So I'm enormously happy. I'll take whatever comes. Je suis aussi très contente de, de travailler avec mes trois co-religionnaires parce que c'est vraiment hyper intéressant je trouve de, de se retrouver avec des gens dont c'est le métier ou en passe d'être le métier ou voilà. De réfléchir à ce que c'est la critique aujourd'hui, ce que ça représente un, un jury de critique Face à un film, qu'est-ce qu qu'un qu qu jury de critique peut dire d'un film et pourquoi il va choisir tel film ou tel autre Donc ça, je trouve ça vraiment, euh, vraiment passionnant. I expect to grow up as a critic, as a film critic, because I'm very intuitive till now in my profession, so I expect to be a greater critic uh, going at the end of this experience. 
because in Romania, like for a uh, lot until a few years ago, there was no interest, you know, from film critics uh, to uh, theorize, to know theory, to read theory of cinema. And we, we didn't have like translations. We didn't have almost, even Bazin was translated like in the 70s in a very abbreviated, abbreviated uh, you know, book. It's the same in Mexico? Because no, that's in fact the problem. Okay. There's a lot of people interested in films, but we don't have a film studies program in the university. We don't have a specialized media. We don't have like a Yazdo Cinema Positive. That doesn't even exist in, in, in Mexico. Film criticism in Argentina is kind of, at some point, like in everywhere else, it's considered a service, you know, like the meteorological service. People read it. <laughs> is it going to rain? You know, this film yeah. is for you. I think. I personally would like people to read my the things I write after they watch the film, not before, because I don't think it's a service. It's actually, it's like a dialogue. I'm not saying the truth, the absolute truth. I'm offering my point of view, which of course, it's it has arguments because I'm not interested in saying if the film is good or bad. But if I have something to say about it, we are the country where Truffaut and Bazin and Danet wrote so. I would say that sometimes you can you can ask yourself why do I write because many other people did it much better than I am doing. So it it can be a bit confusing sometimes. I think if you read Godard's critiques not as a filmmaker but before when he was especially Godard because, because I I love to force writing but I especially love Godard's they're very impulsive so if you turn that into tradition like solidifying it, yes, it's gonna be it loses. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's harder on you because you feel like you have to continue something. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, those critics, uh, those writings were explosive. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important, well, for you and for everyone to keep uh, fresh. At the same time, sorry, I had the feeling that, and I'm not the only one to say it. Mm. Um, prescription, pre um, film critics do not have this role of prescription anymore. People are less and less used to read films critic. There is the critics and you can read the comments below and you can see comments from the people like why this guy writes that? Who 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 authorized it to yeah. to write that such a film? I saw the film and I liked it a lot and he's saying that the movie is a crap and who's he or who's she? To, to say that and, and even directly to the to the film critic, you say, why, why you say that about a film? You're a tit and, 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 <laughs> and all of this, and the film critic isn't in in some countries I think a respectful profession anymore. In France, is is really chic to be a, a film critic and it has certain status. But I think that. It, it can be a bad thing, but it can be a good thing too, because it can really open to, to a discussion and it can be very, very constructive sometimes. I think well, maybe it has to do with because more and more critics are becoming programmers around the world. Yeah. And so, or more and more programmers are, begin, are becoming critics. Well, <laughs> anyway, but that's the institutionalization of the film critic introduced yes. into the system. Yes. Yeah. It, one of the topics, I mean, it has to be how do we become more subversive or how do we yes. keep being independent? Yes. I don't know. I mean, I guess we have to figure that out. Because, yes. I, I, I mean, I don't think we have to fight all the time against the system, but how to keep being, I mean, how to keep being individual.